Hello guys, it's the Ginger Hills here, and I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial in Cinema 4D today, and it's going to be using Expresso. It's going to be a quick tip. So, basically, your camera is going to follow an object. So basically, it should turn out like this, but I'm going to find it quite difficult to try and copy this. But sure, I'll give it a try. So, create a new scene add in an object, add in a camera and add in two nulls drag your camera under null 1 or whatever one you want so basically your camera is inside a null now you wanna right click the null with nothing on it and go to cinema 4d tags and go down to Expresso. then you wanna drag the null 1 in the null in and the cube in I'm just going to make these a bit bigger. Okay. So basically, if you click this blue thing, that's going to be the input, I'm pretty sure. So we want the... Hold on one second, let me recap. Okay. I'm not the best at remembering things, but... Basically, your null 1 should be on the right, your null should be in the middle, and the cube or your object should be on the left, the null should be in the middle, and your camera should be on the right. And the null one has the camera inside it. So click the wee blue thing and go to coordinates, go to global position, click it. Go to coordinates, go to position, click it. And if you wanted to lock the rotation, you can by just doing that. And you want to do the same for the null. and you want to do the same on the other side of it like yeah over here hold on I can't see that right and then rotation I think it is Um, it's actually right. Global position, global position, position. Dear right, right. I put the wrong thing in here, but you get the drift, I think. So then you want to link them up. So the rotation goes to that. The global position goes to that. The rotation goes to that. And then you need to do the same on the cube, <laughs> which is global position rotation and position and you can change it to however you want so if you want it just to stick on the X axis you can just choose X or Y or Z you don't need to do the global or anything it's just I think it's easier but then you got this and now if I were to I hope this will work if I were to move the cube, oh dear God! Um, what happened there? I'm gonna take off the rotation on all of them, and that did not work. What's up with my camera? Alright. Right. Oh. I put... That's why. I put the position to the rotation. So it mucked it up a bit there. Um. Yeah. There we go. Alright, as you can see I can move the cube around and the camera will follow it. And if I were to... My camera's went all funky. Holy shit. Alright. Alright, I'm just going to make a new camera. Oh dear, phone. The dinner's ready. So, basically I'm just going to get rid of the camera. 
and put a new camera in because I mucked up there. So now if I move this, it follows it. So if I were to keyframe the cube to start here and to go here and if it were to do a loop or something, a rotation like that, my camera would not follow it because I did not put the rotation on it. But if you put the rotation on it, your camera will stick to the angle of the, the square. And it works for dynamics as well. So if you were to, if you were wanting to follow, if you're using Throusy or something, this here, eh, it breaks the, the the thingy up. So if you want to follow one piece on the camera, you could do that. Right, I had to go there one second. I'm trying to remember where I was. Yeah, dynamics. So you want to add in a floor. Scroll down, or not scroll down. As you can probably tell, I'm not feeling too good. But anyway, go to simulation tags and go to collider body. And this is our 13. So if it, you probably won't be able to do that. So you need to go to simulate. Then you go to dynamics or it's somewhere down in the simulation tab over here. But anyway, means if you play it, the floor is now solid. Yeah. And you want to add a rigid body to the cube. And if you play this, it hits it. And your camera follows it. Which is kind of cool. So if you want a bullet or something, you could follow the bullet. I don't know. It's a cool wee thing. But yeah, I sort of rambled on a bit in this tutorial. I sort of lost track, I wasn't too concentrated, but hey, I got it out. So please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you for watching, so adios.